And we begin with Edward Snowden's latest leak. It exposes an NSA program known as X Keyscore, which allows analysts to search through enormous databases containing everything that someone would do on the internet, from email to chat logs to web browsing. The internet activity of millions of individuals are stored in these databases, and NSA analysts can access them without any prior authorization or a warrant of any kind. The program seems to confirm one of NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden's most controversial claims, saying that he, sitting at his desk, can wiretap anyone, including the President of the United States, if he just had a personal email address. According to NSA documents, X Keyscore is the widest reaching system for gathering intel on computer networks. A series of PowerPoint slides shows how the program works, allowing analysts to query these massive databases with questions regarding phone numbers, email addresses, and login information. The NSA claims this program is used strictly to target foreign threats in counter-terror investigations. But this revelation further confirms that analysts at the NSA have at least the technological capabilities, if not the individual authority, to monitor and store the online activities of virtually all Americans. Now, Edward Snowden's leak about X -key store, Keyscore excuse me, comes just as the Senate Judiciary Committee convened a hearing this morning to talk about the NSA and FISA court oversight. RT's Liz Wall was at that hearing. Here's her report. The Senate hearing today on FISA comes after NSA leaker Edward Snowden revealed the U.S.'s expansive government surveillance program. The revelations have sparked concerns over privacy rights and government secrecy. The big question today was how do we strike a balance between privacy and national security interests? Senators questioned top officials from the NSA, FBI, and Justice Department. A 29-year-old school dropout could come in and take out massive, massive amounts of data. It's obvious there weren't adequate controls. Uh, has anybody been fired? No, sir, has, not yet. Has, so they... has anybody been admonished? Officials said at this point, no one has been fired, nor has anyone resigned in the wake of the leaks. Brought up today was the vastness of the program that collects phone records of millions of Americans on a daily basis whether or not it's constitutional to do so. Intelligence officials assured senators that the government only spies on actual conversations when they're suspected of terrorist activity. In fact, according to executive branch officials, the surveillance program has thwarted 54 attacks throughout the world. But a spokesperson from the ACLU said that such a broad collection of information on innocent citizens is unconstitutional. Pervasive surveillance is also poisonous for free speech and free association. People who know the government could be monitoring their every move, their every phone call, or their every Google search will comport themselves differently. They'll hesitate before visiting controversial websites. They'll hesitate before joining controversial advocacy groups. And they'll hesitate before exercising rights that the Constitution guarantees. Deputy Attorney General James Cole said he was open to changing the FISA process to make it more transparent. In Washington, Liz Wall, RT.